after giving you this uh, volumetric properties which i had explained to you in my previous video other very important property which we have to discuss now is percentage of gmm at the rate of any initial and percentage of gmm at the rate of n dash it is equal to gmb at the rate of n initial over p uh, gmm taken at the calculation similarly gmb at the rate of n dash divided by gmm into 100 into 100 these are the two equations which we have to discuss is now clear it now this gmm at the n initial we have already calculated in our previous video and its value is known to us is equal to 2.352 and how much is the gmm at this amount of the binder content 2.5 670 into 100%. When we will make the calculation of this equation, its answer comes out to be 88%. Here I would like to tell you the maximum allowable percentage of GMM at this point should be less than the value known as the 89%. So it means 88 is less than 89%. So this result shows that this percentage of GMM at this amount of binder content is acceptable because it is clearly shown by this result. Similarly, we will go to the next step. Percentage GMM at the rate of N dash. What are this? Now over here, 2.557 2.670 these are the values when I will divide this value I am going to get its answer 95.7% and you know as per superpave specification the maximum allowable limit is 96% let me repeat it again. The maximum allowable limit is 96%. How much over here? 95.7. It is less than 96. So it means that this binder content is going to satisfy all the characteristics. Mark my word. This binder content is going to satisfy all the parameters specified for the super pip specification hence by also considering these two factors we can say that our design asphalt content which is pb is equal to 4.7 percent is acceptable same i would like to tell you that whenever we are going to produce the material to be used on the site when 4.7 percent binder content is used it is being accepted it is being accepted and it is the final step of our the, the design the verification at this number of gyration 100 gyration so, so when this is helping done in my next lecture i will give you some another this, uh, another uh, step that that's going to define our design life it should not rot like this one that i will show you in my next video thank you all today for seeing this